Do you want to get a waiver for the FE exam? Well, understanding the requirements and regulations for FE exam waivers is crucial when pursuing licensure as a professional engineer. And in this week's Pass the FE exam video, I will explore various requirements and regulations for obtaining a Fundamentals of Engineering or FE exam waiver in different states across the US. As usual, this video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Every state has its own set of criteria for obtaining an FE exam waiver. Therefore, it is essential to consult your state board and verify the information provided. These requirements can vary significantly from state to state. Direct PE exam application. In certain states, individuals who possess at least 12 years of acceptable engineering work experience, including five years of being in responsible charge, can apply directly for the professional engineering or PE exam without taking the FE exam. Responsible charge refers to the direct control and personal supervision of engineering work. Additionally, individuals holding a post-bachelor engineering degree from an accredited program may claim creditable experience up to a maximum of two years through one of the following. Number one, progressive engineering experience. If you are currently working in an engineering position after graduation, your experience is considered progressive engineering experience. This experience can be fully referenced when applying for the PE exam. Number two, exceptions for accredited degrees and educators. Applicants holding a post-bachelor engineering degree from an accredited program may receive creditable experience toward the requirement up to a maximum of two years. Additionally, engineering educators and individuals with advanced accredited degrees may have alternative criteria for waiving the FE and or PE exams. Now, let's look at some of the requirements for obtaining an FE waiver in the specific states of Arizona, Texas, California, and North Carolina. If you are seeking a waiver for a specific state, refer to the timestamps provided in the video's description below to find your state, as I will be discussing each of these states individually. Arizona FE Waiver Packet Requirements the Engineer Fundamentals Exam Waiver Packet in Arizona includes several essential documents. These include a completed application with all questions answered, a signed check or money order for the application fee, the Arizona State of Citizenship form, a copy of a government-issued ID, verification of licensure or registration from all registered states, official college transcripts if applicable, three certificates of experience record and reference forms, if applicable, and any relevant disciplinary or criminal documents. Texas Board of Professional Engineers Waiver Criteria The Texas Board of Professional Engineers typically requires applicants to take and pass both the FE and PE exams. However, there are situations where the examination requirement can be waived. To be eligible for a waiver, applicants must fulfill specific criteria such as submitting a standard application, paying the application fee of course, providing a letter requesting the waiver, passing the ethics exam, and documenting a certain number of years of creditable experience based on their educational background. FE Waiver Process for California California has its own set of conditions for obtaining an FE waiver, which you can see here on the screen right now. Now, I know this is a lot for you to process here in this video, so we will provide the link to where you can find this flowchart online. FE waiver in North Carolina. 
North Carolina state applicants with 20 or more years of experience of practice may seek to waive the FE exam and to do so must submit an application to the board for approval of the waiver before being permitted to take the PE exam. Applicants are urged to file their application well in advance of the NCWS exam registration deadline in order to ensure that the board receives all necessary information to review prior to the deadline. In conclusion, understanding the requirements and regulations for FE exam waivers is crucial when pursuing licensure as a professional engineer. Remember to check with your state board for specific guidelines and ensure that you meet all the necessary criteria and good luck in your journey to licensure. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button below as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below. I will read them and respond to them, maybe in future videos. If there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question you need answered, leave comments below and pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE Exam.